Good morning, this is Gabriel Porras with SCW News, and we are continuing now to update you on the breaking news that we had brought you just in the wee hours this morning. Now we just, get, and that was about the Nevada earthquakes, the cluster of earthquakes that were, that included two 5.7 earthquakes in Nevada and another one in near California. Now we just got off the phone with a representative with the United States Geological Survey, and she said, while this is not unprecedented, it certainly was unlikely. And we'll show you the full interview now. Okay, well, my first question is going to be about the Nevada earthquake or the cluster of Nevada earthquakes. And I just wanted to know if you had a general idea of what fault line that these quakes had run on. So I actually don't know what fault line that is. Um, not off the, not off hand. Um, I don't believe that we are, um, that that information has come out yet. Mm -hmm. And do you know of any damage reports in Nevada? Do not. I have not heard of any damage reports so far um, that you know it's in a more remote area, um, but I have not heard any damage reports. Do you know how it was able to be felt all the way in California in places such as the Bay Area, which is far away from the area where it was actually sh where the quake had actually hit? Well, it's actually um, there were two uh, earthquakes, and they're pretty large, uh, 5.7, and when you have um, sizable earthquakes, it can be felt pretty widely. Is this earthquake that happened, or is this cluster of earthquakes that happened in that specific area somewhat unprecedented for that area or for Nevada? It's not unprecedented in the basin and range there. Um, it's um, to have that cluster. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a common thing, but it's definitely not unprecedented. Is there any uh, concern over the volcanoes in that area with this recent earthquake? Um, actually, I've not heard of anything um, as far as that goes. Um, I do know that there are old calderas in the area, but I don't know um, what the correlation is. And some people were talking about this being a possible precursor. What do you have to say about uh, those claims in general? Well, there's no way to um, definitively identify a precursor. If there is, mm -hmm. a, if it is a precursor, or if it's the main shock, or if it's a series of earthquakes, um, we just have no um, ability to predict that kind of um, occurrence. And is there anything else you like? Do you think that the public should know about the earthquake, or anything else um, you want to say? If you'd like to know uh, more comprehensive information, you can go to our website at earthquake.usgs.gov. And while I do not have the current information about how or about what fault line this earthquake did occur on, we're going to be working to get that information for you. So it is important that you stay with SW News for more on this developing situation. But just to let you know, on social media, as I said, people are chiming in everywhere saying that they had felt the earthquake. And they were, and even one person in San Francisco recalled their, his building shaking, his six-story building shaking, shaking, including the windows rattling. And then some others felt it in places such as Angel's Camp, in Stockton, Sacramento, and in Modesto. So stay with us, News, for more on this developing situation and on other and on other breaking news events.